Good morning, Dr. Yatima. Good morning. You are from University of Malaya. Yes. Okay, which department are you from? I'm from a chemistry department, Faculty of Science. Faculty of Science. Okay, yeah. can you tell us about your product? Okay. Um, uh, today is actually my, uh, uh, my product is based on the portable USB sensor for uh, body metabolic detection. So uh, the target is that uh, we are design our own uh, nano sensor, we call it. All right. So our target is uh, on human. So basically we're concerned about glucose level, uh, we're concerned about our uric acid level. So this is basically a portable uh, USB sensor where you can use it at home or anywhere else. All right. So uh, why we think that this is uh, very novel to us? Because as a research university, um, the researchers in chemistry department, for example, we are designing our own uh, molecule, okay. all right, chemical compound. Okay. So then we are thinking about what's next, okay. all right? So what we um, uh, in, intend to do is that we try to apply from the basic chemical structure of a compound okay. to what we can do for the the end products, all right? So uh, we target on this. Um, uh, detector or sensor we call it because it's, um, it's affordable means people can afford to buy and at the same time it's actually um, accurate to do the analysis all right and at the same time if you look at the um, the uh, sensor itself is um, I can say that you know is uh, is reasonable price or cost that we can put it in all right and then after all, at the end, definitely is the detector and the product. But at the moment, we call it a prototype because it's not yet commercial, uh, commercially available. Yes. Okay. Um, so uh, the um, the uh, uh, technology transfer that we're going to share with others is that if you compare with a commercially available uh, sensor in a market whereby they use uh, enzymes, all right? But what we are doing now is actually we call it non-enzymatic sensor, okay? So it's more stable and hope and uh, it's also more selective to certain target analytes, okay? So if you see my uh, brochures over here, okay. all right, all right. If you compare, all right, mm -hmm. the advantages of using our own uh, USB sensor compared to whatever in the market at the moment, uh, in the market definitely is more accurate. But you know, the lifetime of the USB might be a problem because you know our our humidity, our temperature plays a role as well. That's why we are targeting on uh, uh, chemically modified uh, conducting polymer electrode, which is non enzymes, so that is more stable. So you can see that the rate, you know, spider chart of it compared to others, I mean, it gives more advantages. Okay. So to date, if you're looking at the detection limit, okay, people are concerned about detection limit of uh, sensors. You can see that we have a broad range of detection limit compared to whatever commercially available is actually uh, higher than what we can detect so means the lowest is very good for for target on uh, body metabolites okay but for the higher range because you know it has quite a broad range of detection limit for the higher range it might be also possible to use in agriculture Okay, agriculture application, aquaculture, water analysis and so on because it can also detect like, you know, in agriculture people are talking about nitrate, phosphates and so on so it can be reliable as well and uh, to date uh, our group has have actually patterned two files okay. Okay? and uh, one uh, tier one paper means a high impact journals okay. so means with that achievements I would say that you know it's a potential for future market yeah, it, for has, our own, it yeah. definitely has got it. It's so diverse. Yeah. yeah. And okay, so um, the future is there for uh, this portable uh, item. USB sensor. Yeah. USB sensor. So it, uh, when someone were to buy it, it comes together with yeah. Yeah, this yeah. tool. So you yeah. just have to insert yeah. the USB yeah. somewhere over here. There. Yeah. Can just insert over here right. and they place a reading so basically the reading represents the level for example if you're talking about sugar level it, they're talking about the level of your sugar okay. the concentration yeah okay thank you so much all right okay for telling us about the product so we wish you all the best thank you okay. very much right. yep